Well, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. If you're watching this, my name is Polly Baldridge, and I'm so um, excited to share some thoughts with you this season as we travel from um, Thanksgiving Day uh, through the season of Advent toward Christmas. And this is certainly a very different year, perhaps, than most of us would have expected. And I think sometimes the traditions of the holiday um, take on new meaning as our circumstances change. And certainly that is the case today uh, for Thanksgiving. So wherever you are and however you are celebrating, I wish you peace and goodwill. Um, and I'm excited to share just a thought with you this morning. I am in the midst um, of pursuing a doctoral degree at Shenandoah University, and I've been working on a project um, to, uh, looking at m music at the beginning, uh, uh, beginning in our country, the colonial period. I have um, just found this awesome resource, African American Heritage Hymnal, and uh, maybe I'll share more about that during this um, season, but uh, I've been reading, and there's a little section in here for Thanksgiving, uh, and it says, it is good to give thanks to the Lord. This is from the song, Psalm 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. Um, and the idea being that um, we need to give thanks in whatever circumstance, not because we're happy about it, but I think by giving thanks and by putting that even into song, um, we are able to process that and what it means and to give voice to those things that are fearful for us, but also those things that are good and sustaining us. And we can process that when we sing about it. At least that's what I think. So uh, I just want to sing um, a very brief refrain. It's not a holiday song yet, but just a song of thanksgiving. It comes from a little musical that my children were in some time ago. Um, this is the last Thanksgiving that our sons will spend at home before they go off to school, presumably. Um, I know a lot of people, I know several who have lost family members, other circumstances, lost jobs, many, many things that are crazy right now that are happening and we had expectations about this time. And yet, um, I'm going to give thanks for that which is, not what could have been or should be, but that which is. So. Thank you, God, for all thy gifts you <laughs> It's hard to sing it. I'm going to try again. Thank you, God, for all thy gifts you've given me. Thank you, God, for everywhere I look, I see. I'll be able to get through it without tearing up, but maybe you'll join me. Thank you, God. 